So today's video is going to be about this uh, Nerf Maverick Rev 6. Maybe you've heard of it. This one is the Sonic series. Uh, you know, the clear plastic that they did with the handful of blasters. This one is, of course, pre-elite, um, or at least it performs pre-elite. And I got it the same day that I got that Predator in one of my earlier videos. Um, I think I got it for $1.41. You can see it written there still. I'm still scrubbing that off. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with the total review, obviously, because I feel everybody knows what a Maverick is. Uh, so naturally, uh, once, once I did unpack my Dremel, uh, so I immediately started working on this uh, as soon as I got it. So naturally, I took out the locks. So the cylinder will come out. Personally, I don't think that's a super necessary mod, um, just because, like, it's still sort of blocked already, and you are still having to disengage, top off, or even then, it just keeps you from spinning it a little bit more. But, you know, it's a pretty popular mod, you know, might as well do it. I, of course, took out the air restrictors and took out the little dart guides down in here, um, used my Dremel to appropriately get those uh, restrictors out. Um, that thing's great. I'm so glad that I have one now. Back in the day, obviously, I was trying to do this with, like, hand tools, and that sucked. Um, now, obviously, or, or maybe not obviously, but as soon as I um, take this to the range, it'll kind of show through. Its performance is still a little lacking as far as I'm concerned. Um, so something that, when I picked this up, it had a marble jammed in the cylinder, so its cylinder rotation mech was a little off, but that's due to the weight of the marble. But taking it down was super easy. Uh, I think everybody knows how to do it. And if you don't, there's plenty of how-tos online at this point. Because uh, this is pretty much a mainstay of most arsenals since it came out. Now, um, anything else I really need to say about it? Mm, no, I took the marble out and the rotation mech was pretty much fixed. But ever since I put it back together, its tolerances have been a little loose. So I think maybe there's some... Uh, Maybe some uh, user error I put in, or maybe I didn't tighten everything, or maybe there's like a washer I can put in somewhere to keep this from freely spinning as much. Either way, it's still, you know, all the mods I've done have, it was easy enough to take down and put back together at the very least, but um, until I put in a new spring, I think it'll its range will still suffer. But we'll take this to the range real quick, back over here at our blanket on the treadmill, and we'll show it. So it's still pretty, um, I would still consider that a little lackluster, um, even with, because like, the air restrictor is out, but maybe like, greasing the plunger tube or improving on the spring will really get the range a little bit more. It was performing a little bit like that, or similar to that before I had done anything, so I am not thinking that what I did has changed it too much. I'm not too worried about it though, because uh, it's... It's a Maverick. Everybody loves them. I finally... Is this my first Maverick? Yeah, I think I just bummed Mavericks my entire life until now. Um, I may not keep this one. I may get it up to working standard. I may give it to a friend or sell it on eBay. Not certain yet, but at the moment, it's at home in my collection. So, um, thanks for watching, and um, see you in the next video.